Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be a vlog video. Um, I'm currently getting ready to package some orders. I have my tablet out and I'm also sitting in front of my computer, um, but I do prefer to use my tablet, especially when I'm just um, having a day like today where I'm not really um, leaving the house and I am gonna be working like around my home, which I didn't really vlog, but I do work when I'm going to um, like the table uh to eat lunch i work like in the the laundry room i'll just work around the house so i find it easy to be able to take the tablet now i do package my hair in one specific part of the house so i package my hair in this office space slash sunroom and then when i'm doing like consultations and different things like that i do like to go around the house when i'm doing editing and things like that i'm, I'm mobile around the house so the tablet really helps me right now what i'm doing is i am preparing to package up an order and send it out. Uh, this order is for the Texture Mongolian Deep Wave. I've been getting asked the question, um, what's the most popular texture um, that I'm selling? And I get asked that question pretty much every year, um, at least at least once or twice uh, a year. And um, my pop most popular texture is still Mongolian Deep Wave and it's also Brazilian Body Wave. So right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to get all of the um, branding items that I need to go ahead and package out the orders that I'm sending out or package up the orders that I'm sending out today. Um, so I'm grabbing business cards. I'm also grabbing hair care instructions and my bundle wraps as well as my um, hair bags. And I'm also going to be sending out hair bonnets. I've been sending out bonnets to uh, my repeat customers and clients. And um, I do plan on keeping that going. So if I notice that there have been um, consecutive orders or, um, and I'm, I'm referring to hair orders, if I'm noticing that there are repeat orders for bundle deals, then I, I do want to send out a free like gift. So I've been sending out bonnets. Um, this particular order for the client that I'm sending the, the hair out for, she's ordered over about four times. Um, and she has kept in, in communication with me. Um, through my business, of course, and um, she's just a really valuable client of mine. So I do definitely want to send out the bonnet to her. Um, I'm also thinking of different things that I can send out with my orders going forward besides bonnets. So if you have any suggestions or ideas, be sure to leave them down below and I would definitely consider them. But that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, when I get done with this order, then I'll move on to the next. I'm not sure... I don't believe that I recorded all of the packaging that I did just because I don't want it to be too drawn out um, and I'm pretty much doing the same steps with each order. So I'm showing you the Mongolian Deep Wave that I am about to package up and send out. And I just go ahead and I wrap my bundle wrap around the um, rubber band on the bundle. I do write the texture and the length on the hair care instructions that I'm going to um, attach to the bundle. And I'm attaching that with my hang tag or in the form of a hang tag. And then I go ahead and put the bundle back into the bag and then prepare to send it out. So I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm just getting the next bundle. I'm going to wrap my bundle wrap around it, adhere the hang tag, place it back in the bag, and then get ready to send out that bundle as well. I'm also gonna do a video very shortly giving you all an update on how my nails are doing. Um, I know a lot of uh, you all that do watch my vlogs also watch my What's On My Nails video, and I definitely wanna give you all an update. I'll probably record that video today, and it'll probably be out sometime next week, like Monday or Tuesday. This video will probably be uploaded um, on Saturday, either Friday night or Saturday. So right after this video, you will have an updates uh, video for my nails because I definitely want to show you what they're looking like now. 
and then I'm going to go get them done in the morning um, and then I'll be able to do another what's on my nails so that you can see how they look tomorrow after my appointment. So now I'm just grabbing the bag and I'm going to place the bundles inside of the bag. And this is pretty much what I do when I wake up in the morning. I want to make sure that I'm getting all of the orders uh, situated that need to go out for the day so that when I do go out, then I can just go ahead and run to the post office and drop them off. And then I also give myself enough time to edit what I need to edit, whether it's a podcast or whether it's a video. And then I also want to give myself time to complete consultations. Now, for consultations, if I know that I have um, other things to do, like, you know, hair orders that need to be sent out and editing. And if I know I have like website reviews and things like that, I'll try to get those things taken care of while I'm at home. And then for the consultations, because I like doing the consultation one by one. Um, I don't like to work on multiple consultations at a time. It just works best when I'm zoned into that specific business, that specific consultation um, versus me, you know, working simultaneously with multiple businesses on a consultation. So for the consultations, if I don't have time to complete them while I'm at home, then I will give myself time to complete them when I get back. Um, so I'll go ahead and finish one, start on the next consultation. And then, you know, once that's finished and out of the way, then I can move on to another task. So that's pretty much how I do that. Um, this is the beginning of my day. So I'm like I mentioned, I, I like to get my orders pretty much done in the beginning of the day. So I'm packaging orders and I just uh, I'm showing the bonnet that I am going to place in this order because it, it is a repeat client that I'm sending the package to. So um just folding it up and I'm placing the bonnet inside of the bag and I also let my customers and clients know when I'm sending out a bonnet I'll send them an email message just letting them know to expect a gift um, sometimes I itemize what the gift is such as you know it's the bonnet like I've been mentioning and sometimes I say gift I don't go into details I let it be a surprise but either way I think it's a really um cool thing to do because I know as a customer when I'm not working for my business when I'm doing business with other companies I enjoy receiving things that I didn't expect to receive so I just want my customers and clients especially the ones that have purchased um, repeatedly with me to have that same type of feeling when they do make a purchase so that's that's part of my thinking behind doing that so right now what I'm doing is I'm taking the bag with the hair in it and I'm going to place it inside of an envelope I put my TV back there like behind me so that my son could um, be in the office space with me I plan on getting like a stand or some kind of table to put the TV on back there I'm thinking I'm not sure I'm not sure if I even want to stand back there. I'm not sure, um, but I do want to get my office organized. I definitely need to do that, but I have my son behind me because he likes being with me um, even while I'm working, and I, I enjoy the luxury to, to have him with me while I'm working. So I'll have him behind me, like toward the other end of the sunroom, and then I'll have what I'm doing, all of my hair and things like that towards the front side, if that makes sense. So you can kind of see how it's you know, how we're at opposite ends and I'm still able to work, but he's still able to be by me, which is a huge perk of entrepreneurship. And anyone that is wanting to be at home more with their children, wanting to transition from their nine to five or wanting to keep their nine to five and have a, another source of income through a business, I'm more than happy to help with that. Um, sharing, you know, my experience and advice and um, any resources that I have. So if you are interested in starting a business or growing your business, or transitioning from your nine to five or whatever the you know the case may be feel free to reach out to me via email my email address is the letter b talks t-a-l-k-s at yahoo.com and i'll be more than happy to reply with different options um, so right now i'm fulfilling the order and i'm going ahead and printing out the shipping label So at this point, um, I'm pretty much done with um, this order. I 
what I'm doing right now is I'm saving the shipping label from my um, tablet and I'm going to pull it back up on my computer and be able to go ahead and print it that way. Now, for some reason, my tablet isn't connected to my printer wirelessly, and I know there's a way to do that, so I'm gonna call Apple later on and see if they can walk me through it. That'll be pretty much it um, for my day. Once I complete the orders, I'm going ahead and sending out my client an email, letting her know that I'm sending out a free gift, and that wraps it up. All right, so today is the next day. I do have a few things to do today on the agenda. I need to, um, first off go to the grocery store and get some like cereal milk some more trash bags and just some miscellaneous items for the house and then i need to complete i'm gonna try to complete um this professional biography that i'm working on today i'm not sure if i'll get completed with it today or tomorrow but i plan on having it completed by the end of this weekend um what else I'm also in the process of designing a website. Now I've stepped away from doing a lot of um, like website builder services, but um, you know, occasionally I still do do, I still do assist with website creation and logos and things like that. So I'm gonna be working probably on, I don't know if I'm gonna do the website today or if I'm gonna work on that tomorrow, but I know that I wanna um, work on the professional bio. And then on top of that, I have a sponsored video that I need to record. Um, it's for a hair accessory. I was gonna take this hair out, um, but I kind of don't feel like it. And not just that, but I can use this hair to do like the bun accessory demonstration slash tutorial slash review video. Um, it's just pretty much showing um, you all how to attach this accessory that I was sent. It's really, really cute. Um, so I'm going to record that today too. So I'm just picking up the vlog from yesterday. Yesterday, all I did was mail out the orders. Um, we did go out to eat, but every time I, I have to start programming myself to remember to grab my phone to record. I'm trying to get even better with recording or snapping different parts of my life. But when I'm doing something that's really like enjoyable or just relaxed, my first instinct is not to grab my phone and start recording like it really isn't so I'm, I'm trying to train myself to get used to doing that even though i've been doing youtube for over what three years i'm just not used to vlogging like that like i typically have like my day planned out when i vlog and going out to dinner yesterday wasn't planned with my family but we wanted to to do that to celebrate the kids going back to school so um that was that um and then when i got home we watched a movie, ate dessert. Yeah, we didn't eat dessert there. We ate dessert at home, watched a movie, and we went to bed. So it was really like a peaceful evening. But again, I didn't, I didn't, I mean, there was some footage that I definitely could have vlogged. But nevertheless, um, I'm going ahead and, and picking up the camera from where we left off. Um, you know, not from where we left off, but I'm still picking up the camera so we can continue vlogging. Um, so that's what I'm doing now and I will pick you all back up probably once I leave the grocery store okay so I'm back from the store um it's actually a completely new day this is like a three-day vlog even though there's not a lot a lot of footage um but I did end up finishing my consultation um I also went ahead and um I just made a post on my Instagram about how I made over 1,000 in sales from strictly my newsletter channel um and it shows you that in shopify how much you've made from marketing and i have my sigano email marketing app tied to marketing on my website so it it tallies or it calculates how much i've received from that specific avenue of marketing so um i did leave some tips on my instagram at batch here underscore biz and also at Brittany underscore bundle so if you want to check that out be sure to do so um, but I am going to be going forward. I'm going to be doing more videos regard in regards to credit building, credit ma money management, and also um, how to capitalize on marketing outlets. It's one thing to market. It's one thing to advertise. But if you're not reaching your monetary goals doing so, um, there are other things that we can try to tweak to make that happen. I'm not a strictly numbers person, but I do look at numbers because I want to make sure 
that myself and also the businesses that I'm working with are moving toward their goals and actually accomplishing what it is that they're set out to accomplish. There are ways to track the success of your business without looking at how much you're making. Um, and then there's other times when you do want to look at um, how much you're making because success is not only defined by how much you made, but it's also defined by uh, how much interaction you're getting from your target audience, uh, how many website visits you're getting, um, how much content you're producing, the quality of your products and service services, um, and you know, just actually keeping the, the business running. There's so many fundamentals that I go over on my podcast, at the Brittany Bundles podcast, as well as on this channel that all contribute to the overall success of a business that don't have to do primarily with the sales. There's a lot of things that come with running a business. Like I mentioned, there are some businesses that have gotten good sales, but they were not strong in customer service or strong in keeping repeat clients and growing repeat business. They weren't strong with uh, innovation, uh, coming out with new ideas. Uh, ideas or making sure that their products and services actually served what the target audience was was asking for and looking for. And even though they made money in sales, their business didn't last. So I'm not just in it to make quick money, but I'm in it to make sure that the business actually provides value and that it's actually an overall um, substantial business that's going to be healthy in all aspects. So when I do videos and I do different tips um, about how to do certain things in business, that's where my focus is, an overall healthy, sustainable business that keeps growing and not just how to get quick money, if that makes sense. But I do give tips on how I was able to generate quick sales as well, like the um, analogy that I just mentioned with 1K in seven days from my newsletter. So if you do want more insight and tips on how to grow your business and how to uh, market and different ideas that maybe you've tried or maybe you haven't tried, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Also, if there's any areas in your business that you're struggling with, let me know down below too. That way I can look at some ways to um, help and address those issues either via YouTube video or um, social media posts. So I do wanna thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down below as well. And I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.